Hi. I'm not sure if I'm really this stupid or if this has just been so lousily documented, but I learned something crucially important about my GD plus four and about its manual bed tramming. And to answer the question, do you need the manual bed tramming when there is automatic one available? The answer is that yes, you do. If the build plate is tilted, automatic leveling will make a good first layer because it can compensate for this. But for the next layers, it can't make an accurately measuring part. So you do need a flat plate to build on. And that's why manual bed trimming is needed as a baseline. The automatic trimming will take care of the small inconsistencies that there are in the bed. So you need both. There's an option in the tool menu for platform reset that guides you through adjusting the nuts below the bed with a, a seven millimeter key. The problem is that the nuts that you adjust with this, they don't do anything. They just secure the, the actual adjustment piece in place. So how the process actually goes is that you loosen the nuts and then you adjust the black plastic round piece above it. And that is what makes the adjustment. Uh, the platform reset functionality that's on the printer, uh, it has a pretty long startup process, and then it goes through all the uh, spots once, and you adjust them with a piece of paper on, under the nozzle. The problem is that you have to go through them at least twice. And if you do some bigger adjustments, you have to do them more than twice. And since it's really slow to start, it takes a long time. There are at least two methods that are better and faster than the stock platform reset. Uh, first one, screws tilt calculate by the GD community. You install a script which measures the bed with one click and it then shows exactly how much you need to adjust each screw and which direction. It does show the amount and direction clearly, although <laughs> you actually need to adjust to the opposite direction that it shows you. Still, this is my first recommendation because it's accurate and it's reasonably fast. And here's how the process goes. I'll have the link in the description and you copy the text. Then you use, for example, Orca Slicer to go to the printer configuration and the printer.cfg. And then you paste the text somewhere between the existing macros then save and restart. Then first you heat the bed and preferably let it sit for a while. Then you click the screws tilt calculate macro. It homes the bed and then it measures each corner. Then it shows the results in Orca Slicer. And I've already done this process. So mine are very close to each other. So there's nothing for me to do here, but you'll see if there are big differences. And then you can open the securing nut and adjust the piece for as much as the script told you to. Then you close the securing nut and adjust the others as much as needed. And I do recommend running the script again until you are happy with the results. And don't forget to run the automatic bed mesh after this process. The second one is a manual bed macros by me. And before I found that the screws tilt adjust, I made the macros of my own. And this is faster to adjust, although it's not quite as precise as the tilt calculate. In this one, there are separate macros to start the process and to move to each corner for you to adjust the screws using the paper method and to end the process with the automatic bed mesh. The good thing about this is that you see the results right away and you can go back and forth in the different corners while you adjust. So here's how this process goes. Once you've installed the macros, you will find them here. Manual bed starts, manual bed one, two, three, four, manual bed center and manual bed finish. And what you need to do first is heat the bed, preferably for a while, then you can start. First, loosen the nuts, 
It doesn't need to drop off, it just needs to it moves. It's sometimes difficult to turn them in the correct direction because they're under the table. Then you hit spaniel bed start and it does just basic homing and you need a piece of just regular office paper, 2D printer paper. The paper ready, hit manual bed one. It comes to the front left corner, waits a bit and then goes down. And yeah, it's way too tight. So we adjust until it moves well, like that. Then we turn to manual bed two, it moves, waits and goes down. Same thing here, like that. And like this, you go through the four spots. And since I now adjusted every one of them, I have to go a few times. So number one again, really good, like that. And then before going through them all for the last time, you tighten these secure nuts that hold the actual adjustment in place. And we'll go through them again. Yeah, the one, it goes out of whack when I tighten it. So I guess I have to leave it a bit tight, then I'll tighten this. Oh yeah, two again, three is good. There we go. There is also this manual bed center, but there's no, no adjustment for it. So it's only if you're curious enough and you want to see. Once you're done, manual bed finish. So now it homes the Z axis properly as well. Like that, you're done. Hopefully you learned something today. The links to the custom macros and to my 3D printable GD plus 4 models are in the description. Have a good one.